right, and we have a graphic that is going to show our viewers some symptoms that you may experience after your bones have been weakened by osteoporosis. And let's show that to our viewers, doctor, and talk about it a little bit. Some back pain caused by a fractured or collapsed vertebra, loss of height over time, a stooped posture, that could be a symptom as well, a bone fracture that occurs much more easily than expected. All of these doctors, you concur? Yes, uh, and I'm, you know, I'm going to go ahead and bring a, a personal example here, actually, my, my, my late grandmother. Uh, she never knew she had osteoporosis. Mm. She was never diagnosed. She, one, one good day, she started to develop back pain, and then next thing you know, she didn't want to get out of bed because every movement, everything she did aggravated her back and, and, and made her experience back pain. And turns out, you know, when, when she was worked up, she had a, a two, two uh, if I remember correctly, maybe three uh, vertebral fractures. So she didn't develop those symptoms so, until later on. We did perhaps then notice that she had been uh, developing this posture, you know, this, this, this uh, slouched or, 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 uh, or, or curved, you know, posture to her spine and, um, and had perhaps been decreasing in, in height as well. But mm -hmm. it's not something we were really uh, measuring at the time or, or that we were aware of until she started developing that back pain. So that's how this disease can go unrecognized and untreated for a while before you know something's wrong and what makes screening so important as well.